Investing in yourself can come in more than one form. For me, it means pouring into myself and making sure my cup is full, devoting to my wellness so I am equipped to go out into the world and succeed. It means pouring time, energy, and resources into my goals and ensuring that I can feel good now and later. Investing to me is tangible and intangible, but it all comes down to, do you believe you're worth it? So today we're unboxing my new camera and my camera equipment. I purchased the Sony ZV-E10 to really upgrade my video quality and invest in myself and my YouTube journey and career because I'm taking this seriously. Um, I've decided to treat it as more than just a hobby. It truly is a passion of mine and hence we have this new level of commitment into myself so let's unbox it before we get to the goods <laughs> we have a camera carrying case this is extremely cute your video is nothing without the audio quality okay that's a little dramatic but audio quality definitely takes video quality up to a completely different level so I'm excited to have this microphone and of course an SD card. <sighs> now for what we've really been waiting for. I have a camera. I've been doing YouTube since 2019 and I finally now have a camera. Ooh, we got the flip out screen. I'm excited to start using this. I'm gonna start using this like ASAP. So brief intermission, then we'll be back with the camera. As I think about the topic of investing in yourself, I think about how badly I have always wanted to take my YouTube journey very seriously and how excited I am to finally have invested to another level financially um, into my YouTube journey because the camera is not cheap necessarily. And, you know, there's so many ways to invest in yourself. It doesn't have to just be via money or finances and purchases and stuff like that. In my journey, however, investing in myself happens to be taking the form of buying this camera right now. This camera is a big deal for me. Um, I've been wanting a camera for at least eight years now. Um, I've always been into filming, editing videos. I made my first video actually in seventh grade for a history day project. I made a little documentary. So film and, you know, just video goes beyond just my love for YouTube, but it heavily encompasses YouTube for me. So this marks just a new chapter of me saying I'm taking this seriously. Also give me a little bit more pressure to be consistent because it's like, okay, girl, we just bought this x hundred dollar camera and i'm gonna need you to actually use it so that the money doesn't just you know go down the drain another way that i'm investing in myself is investing my belief into myself like do i truly believe in myself and the answer is yes i believe in myself and therefore i'm willing to put time into myself put more energy into myself time is a big form of investment i feel many of us say i don't have enough time for this i don't have enough time for that when really we're making an excuse because at the core of it we don't truly believe in the vision 
So um, there's many ways I'm investing in myself right now outside of just YouTube. You know, investing can be as simple as waking up earlier, <laughs> investing into your day so you have more time available to do all the things you want, to have all the experiences you want, to pour into yourself. Investing in yourself can take so many forms, but at this time, this is my greatest investment into myself, and I'm super excited to just level up and elevate. Welcome to my new camera. It looks amazing, doesn't it? I love it. So why don't we invest in ourselves? What is the root cause? You guys know me, I'm always getting to the root cause behind something. And in regards to investing in ourselves, I think the root cause is us not valuing our goals, dreams, and desires enough, aka not really believing in them. I feel like in order to invest in anything, you have to believe in it. And if you don't have that core deep trust and belief in yourself, then all the time, energy, resources, and money will never go toward what is necessary to make all the things you want blossom into fruition. And what goes hand in hand with belief, I feel is respect for ourselves. When you really respect something, you tend to believe in it. You tend to see its worth. You tend to see its value if you really respect it. So if we begin to respect ourselves and acknowledge the value of that which we want the ways that we want to feel the ways that we want to live our lives the things that we want to accomplish if we respect it see it as valuable and thereby believe in it wholeheartedly it'll be a lot easier to begin to justify the investment because all investment has to have a level of justification. If we don't have enough justification, aka we don't feel like the return on our investment will be enough, then that also gives us a lot less of the motivation to invest. So what does investing really look like tangibly? I feel as though investment into ourselves really means pouring into our cup. Pouring into our cup in any way that is necessary for us to achieve and embody all that we want and desire. As I mentioned earlier in the video, that could look like via putting time into yourself, pouring energy into yourself, pouring mental capacity into yourself to brainstorm and think and problem solve, pouring resources into yourself, healthy foods into yourself, purchasing items that will enhance your life, um, upgrading your, <laughs> your sleeping set, your bed sheets, so that you can sleep well. It can go from one minute level to as big as, oh, attending college for four years or taking a big course to develop your professional skills. And there's so many ways to invest in yourself and I wanna use this as an opportunity to just say, do the thing that you've been putting off. Do the thing that you've been saying you don't have enough time to do, enough money to do, enough energy to do. I understand that it feels like you don't have enough, but think about those things that come up in your life that are of high priority. And even if you didn't have enough time, all of a sudden you're making time. If you didn't have enough energy, oop, all of a sudden energy is manufactured out of thin air to pour into that thing. I think part of it is really about how much of a priority is this to ourselves? How much of a priority is how we feel? to ourselves, that priority that we give our goals and desires is what will determine whether or not we will invest in it and find it important enough. So do the thing that you've been putting off. You deserve it. You are worthy of pouring into yourself and having a full, abundant, overflowing cup. So that is all I wanted to touch on for this video. Just sharing the ways I'm investing in myself and hope that you do the same. So that is all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Let me know any future videos you might want to see from me or any questions you may have. And until next time, peace and love.